if you guys need your badges going on 2k21 go ahead and go to plug for badges and accounts trust me guys they're 100 legit if you guys need your badges done within a couple of days they got you again their links and everything will be in the description guys if you guys need cheap and reliable mt on nba 2k21 go hit up mtstacks.com go to the website buy mt for any cons you guys want use my code dan for five percent off again their links will be in the description guys so as y'all saw in the title or in the video right now, you can see I'm banned. Now, again, I'm only banned for two weeks, but I'll show you guys what I got banned for and what other things to stay away from because, again, they're going to catch you if you guys do it too much. So can keep in mind, the reason why I got banned was because I did the VC glitch too much. Now, if you guys didn't know on this account, I did the VC glitch. I'm going to say, like, maybe if I had 600K, um, I'm going to say 400K from that, I guess, VC glitch that I posted, like, two or three days ago was from that. So... I would recommend you guys do not do the glitch or abuse it, I guess. Abuse the VC glitch because, again, they're trying to find some people that are trying to get, like, you know, 600, 700K from this little glitch and then wait until next gen and then make their player there because, again, they want you to work for it or they want you to, like, basically pay for it so it makes them more money because, again, if you do a VC glitch, they're not really going to make any money when they come to next gen when you guys have to, like, you know, basically make your build again or this and that. If I ever post a VC glitch again, guys, just keep in mind that just in case, do not abuse the glitch. Now, again, I abuse the glitch on this account and I got banned for it. So, again, do not abuse the glitch because, again, you will get banned forever or maybe for two weeks. Again, this account is only banned for two weeks. I have to wait two weeks or whatever. But, again, just don't abuse the glitches. Again, if I post one, do it some days and then take a break. Go play some career. Go play some, you know, park. And then do it again a couple days later. Again, that's the best way I can explain it because... If you do a glitch, you know, how I did it right here where I abused it, I went to like 300 or 400k from that glitch alone, I got banned within like literally one day. So it wasn't because I was posting the glitch, it wasn't because I did this about the badge glitch, it was because I abused the VC glitch. Now again, the reason why they're banning people is because again, they want you to pay for the VC for next gen, they don't want you to do a glitch on current gen, and then next gen you have like, you know, 600k VC, and you can make a build already off rip. So what I recommend you guys do, right, from now on when I post a little VC glitch or something like that, I would say to basically, you know, watch the video, right, do the little glitch one, see if it works. If it works, do it sometimes. Don't do it every single time. Don't abuse it because, again, if you guys abuse it, you're going to get banned. Now, any other glitches out there that will get you banned, I 100% doubt. Uh, maybe a mascot glitch, but that's like the only one I would say. If there's ever a mascot glitch or a closed glitch or something like that, I doubt you'll get banned from that because, again, that's not really affecting them because of the fact that next gen, they don't really care. Hey, they're not, not going to keep the same clothes. You're going to keep this and that. So when it comes to clothes and badges and stuff like that, they don't really care on that. They'll give you maybe like a week or they'll just tell you a message saying you got to stop doing that because, again, they don't really care. When it comes to that, because it's not really affecting them. But when it comes to VC, it's actually affecting them because, again, they're losing money when it comes to next gen. So if you're going to lose glitches, right, if you guys see a VC glitch for me or anybody else, I'll say, you know, wait a little bit or try it out first and then to the glitch because again or maybe wait a little bit because again you guys can get banned from this like how i did right here i'm uh again i had over like 600k from this little glitch so i was balling i was fine and then two days later on sunday right after i post a little jump shot clip or that video i got banned off rip so again when this little glitch came out i didn't expect it to get banned because again i thought they didn't really care but when doing this little glitch after like 400 times I got that much VC and then I got banned. So keep in mind to never abuse the VC glitches because again, you can get banned. Now, another thing, since this account is banned for two weeks, I'm never going to use this account ever again. So if you're wondering, you're going to add this account or you're going to report me for, you know, I'm just I'm the glitcher or something like that and you're going to report me for even longer. Um, I don't really care because again, I'm not going to use this account ever in my life ever again. Because once they ban me once, they're going to see me, I guess, maybe I do a VC glitch one more time and they're going to permanent ban me or ban my console. So literally, I don't really care about this account. You guys can keep this account if you guys really want to. Um, but you can guys can go report it if you guys really want. I don't really care. This account right here, I'm never going to use in my life. Because, again, I don't want anybody else to know what my new account is. And I don't really care what's going to happen. But with this account, I can just, you know, give it to anybody else who wants it. Um, I don't really care. So, once again, don't abuse glitches, all right? Maybe badge glitches, I don't really care about about that one. But when it comes to VC glitches, that's where you got to, like, you know, calm down sometimes. I would say me get, like... 50k here and then wait a day then get 50k again that same process i would say that's like the best way to do it so you guys have like a legit way of getting vc but 
you guys can get banned for that. I don't really know how to stop the getting from banned that because they were talking about, I think on the 2K support chat, I don't really have any screenshots, but they were saying to me that, you know, if um, as they said, they said that a computer actually does ban you. It's not really a dev that's actually banning you guys, checking your things and stuff like that. If you guys get a certain amount of VC per day, like without playing, you know, like anti up or something like that, they're going to ban you automatically. All right. So how would that work? I'm assuming is that if you guys do that little VC glitch that I posted, like, you know, two, two days ago, you're going to get banned for it if you guys abuse it, like how I did. Now, again, I did it like literally, I'm going to say like 600 times. So when it comes to that, I did that like to the most, like, I guess, extreme thing ever. Now, again, I earned about 300 to 400 K from the little glitch alone. And I'm going to say it was worth it a little bit, but then towards the end, since I got banned, I don't think it's worth it. Maybe you guys might find a different experience. You guys might get lucky and get slide through the computer, I guess, or whatever it is. For me, I didn't, I couldn't slide. Again, it just, it just literally depends on maybe if you're lucky or not. But for me, I got banned that day or I guess yesterday. But again, when coming to those glitches, guys, do not abuse the VC glitches. When it comes to badge glitches, it doesn't really matter in my opinion. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed this little, I guess, tutorial or, or video or something like that. But I'm out, y'all. Peace.